Hello, my YouTubers. I just want to thank everybody that wished me a happy birthday on my Facebook and all my Facebook and stuff. So I want to thank everybody and thanks for everybody that listened to my friend Tiffany Law on my interview, interview me. I'm going to actually, for people that didn't get to see it live on my Instagram and Facebook, I'm going to actually replay the um, interview that I had that Tiffany did with me earlier. So I'm going to play that. So just give me a minute and I'll, I will share my screen so you can see the, the uh, interview. So just give me a minute. I'll put my little mute myself so you can just hear the interview. Okay? Enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed this interview that, I had, er, that Tiffany gave with me earlier. So enjoy. If Just give me a few minutes to find it. Hey, baby. Go ahead. This is a YouTube birthday takeover. I will be your host for this evening, Miss Tiffany Lowe, and we have come together to celebrate the amazingly talented and caring YouTuber that you all love and adore, Mr. Johnny Watts. Hello, hello. hello. Hello, hello, hello. Johnny, welcome to the show. Well, welcome to your show, I guess. Isn't that right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Well, you better be feeling great because today's a very special day. I'm not sure if all your viewers know, but I'm sure they have with anticipation of all the marketing and videos and promotions you've been doing. But today's a special day today because it's only Johnny's birthday today. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Let me see. Oh, wait. This didn't work. We better start the show off with a little bit of music for Mr. Johnny. Yeah, huh? Uh, uh, hi. Uh, hi. I can't hear you, though. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
now I've got my flora completely a mess. No, no worries, no worries. But you are worth it. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So how's your day so far? Great, lots of phone calls going over here. Text messages, everything going on over here. Super popular, I bet. You've got to speak to all your family members and stuff. And I got a phone call from the North Pole. So you've got a call from where? The North Pole, Santa Claus. Oh, who called you from the North Pole? Santa Claus himself wish me a happy birthday. You are kidding me. No, no, no. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we know who's on the good list this year. I guess if you're getting a call from Santa himself in September. Yeah, hi. So if any of you guys don't know, me and Johnny go back way, way back. We have been best friends, right? Yes. For many, many years. We from back in school days to Camp Camp El Dorado. Were you at Blue Mountain Camp also? Uh, no, only uh, no. El Dorado in oh, Chain. Yeah. Sports yeah. camp. That's right. That's right. Yes, I'm sure there's a lot of viewers at home laughing right now that I worked at a sports camp because I'm not the most athletic person. <laughs> Except for, I got to bring it up again as I do every year, the golf tournament, which I beat you. Yes. <laughs> yes, you did. You did good right there. You did. It's not really nice of me to bring up those, the me winning on your birthday. <laughs> fun time, fun time, fun. <laughs> well, uh, we've been the best of friends for ages, but if you want to hear more about that and how we met, all you got to do is click the like, follow button below and subscribe to Johnny's channel so you can check out the other videos that we have, videos that talk about me where I get to interview Johnny. No, so excuse me, I'm interviewing Johnny now, where Johnny interviews me. And you get to hear all about my life here in London, England. And also, what else have we done recently that I'm forgetting? Uh, we did a Thanksgiving episode last year. Oh, the Thanksgiving episode, yes. There's something else, There's something else more recently. Well, just check out those videos and go through and subscribe to Johnny's channel. You will not be disappointed. So, today, let me go back, hold on. Um, yes, yeah, so if you do that, like, subscribe to hear about more because today it's all about Johnny. It's not about me and Johnny, it's about Johnny. So let's get right to it, shall we? Yes, yes. So, Johnny, what do you have planned for your big day? Everyone wants to know how do you, how are you going to be celebrating your day? Well, sun, well Sunday is going to be a big one because I'm having a big dinner on Sunday at my house. So my sister and my niece will be coming over. I don't know if my nephew's coming, but I know my niece will be here. And we're having Swiss LA for dinner. What you, oh, Swiss LA for dinner? Yeah, so that's Sunday. Sunday oh, coming. I miss me Swiss LA. Are you a the special sauce or you go for the Swiss LA gravy? I go for the Swiss LA gravy. <laughs> I go for the gravy too. Everyone loves the special sauce, but I like the gravy itself. But nothing beats those chips, I'll tell you that. They're the best. The French fries. Sorry, I've been in England too long. They yeah, say hi. <laughs> yeah, hi, they say hi. What a better way to spend your day than with your family. I'm surprised you guys are doing Swish, um, sorry, Swish LA, though. Because I think, if I'm not wrong, your family's from Jamaica. Is that right? Barbados. Barbados. Okay. So tell me something about Barbados. What does Barbados know for? Frying fish and cuckoo. If you don't know what cuckoo is, it's, you make it out of cornmeal. Cornmeal? What's that? Is that like a bread? Uh, hold on. Let me try to see if I can pull it up on my side here. I'll tell you exactly what it is. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to Google it on my end and I'll tell you what is. Hold on. Cornmeal. It's like a, uh, it's like a dough kind of thing. And it's like dough, okay. Interesting. You put a little for that for anyone um, who's interested in knowing. Yes, corn, yeah, uh, hold on. I'll give you the exact definition of corn, yeah, so whoever is from Barbados watching me. Uh, um, uh, let me see what you tell me. Yeah, it's like, 
Yeah, so um, it's like flour. You can make cuckoo out of it. It's like a flour kind of thing. Like a flour thing. Okay, interesting. Yeah. What other foods for any type of, um, do a lot of your family cook? Like, does your mom cook uh, to traditional food or your auntie? Or who's who, who does all the cooking in your family meals? Well, right now, nobody cooks in my house. We buy uh, takeout a lot. Takeout a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But overall, in general, in the past, in your life, overall, this is about getting to know your life, not necessarily o now. Overall, overall, my mother did all the cooking. All the cooking, all right. Yeah, overall, yes. And what's your, would you say she's your favorite out of all your aunties? The best oh, cook? That's oh, a dangerous yeah. I know, to admit mine, who's the best cook in your family? My aunt was also the best cook. Ah! I Hopefully your mom's not watching. <laughs> no, 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 no. My, my aunt cooked a lot too. So we used to go, yeah. we used to, go to our house after church on Sunday and she had a big bowl of homemade macaroni and cheese waiting for me on the table. Oh, that is so yum. Yeah, it's hi. It's been so long. Yeah, hi. Is, was that your favorite dish? What other dishes do you like usually at your family meals? I like a lot of uh, mm, rice, uh, baked beans. Uh, I used to eat a lot of potatoes. <laughs> I had a lot of food. Anything specific to Barbados? Frying fish. My grandmother, oh. my late grandmother, used to make a lot of frying fish. She'll be up at 5 30 in the morning. Oh, shagging the back, washing the fish. <laughs> oh my god. And getting so, re and getting ready to cook. Wow, that's how much she loves you. She must have been cooking all morning for you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Trust me. <laughs> well, who else is from Barbados? Which who's the most famous person you know from Barbados? Uh, I don't have too many famous people, but my favorite artist from Barbados was Red Plastic Bag. Really? Now, you're for everyone, obviously, that follows Johnny, but for any of the new followers, Johnny is a DJ and also has a big passion for music. So I'm surprised you didn't say Miss Rihanna. Yes, I listen to her too. But, yeah, uh, I He's have. Most famous. I got to get you there. Yeah, hi, hi. That's for sure. So let me try to see some of the tough questions here. Let's oh, see. Yeah. Now, today, you're, you have asked me to interview you and collate with some of your fans. And your viewers have most requested to get to know you a little bit better. So that's exactly what we're going to do here today. We have received questions from around the globe burning credit <laughs> that people want to know that they have to know about johnny watts okay so, well i was born with cerebral palsy cp if everybody knows what cp is it affects the brain and the muscles in your body so i um so i can't do a lot on my own so but i can do whatever i have a worker who comes and takes me out i go to all my friends houses i used to go to your house in brampton all the time yeah all the time we definitely we hit up a dance once didn't we yes we did the bowling. To... yeah it's your way you definitely still get around and you definitely don't let it stop you do you oh no 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 <laughs> so i still get out so um yeah so some of the other questions to go back that's a little bit about uh from the start one of the questions we're going to go first to a question uh -huh. the united states who was your best friend growing up i'm i'm talking i'm looking at you right now oh. you, yes you and my I, friend abby my friend abby and you <laughs> were my first um friends growing up Especially when we met taking Chantel home from school. Look, yeah, so you were, you were one of them. That is true. 
So, and that is a really great best friend you have, I must say. Yes, <laughs> yes, I must say, yes. So tell me, the next question we have is, what school did you go to and where did you grow up? Okay, I grew up here in Canada, Bradford, Ontario, Canada. The first school I ever went to growing up was Clark Boulevard in Brampton. Was that an elementary school or a high school? Yeah, it was Clark Boulevard, I think, elementary school. I think. Elementary. Okay, yeah. Well, that's all fine. It's people around the world elementary school. From grade one to five, and then I went to school yeah. at... Um, I the went ten I went to, hold on, let me see. Park. I went, I went to Greenbrier from grade five to six. Okay. From six all the way to eight, I went to RHL Logger Quest. Then nine to 12, I went to uh, Central Peel High School. Oh, yeah. Yo, that's the one. I don't even know if that's anymore. Yeah, it's still goes. It's still around. Yep, it's still around. And what about what were you like growing up? Do people want to know what did you have any hobbies, anything, or was music your main passion? Or did you have any favorite subject in school that you really excelled at? Maybe sports or we did track and field. That's the big thing. Track and field. Track the and field. The first year I did the fifty meter run, that was good. Until okay. I until I almost lost my pants when the, you know, when the gun goes off and you have to start running when the gun goes off. Oh the, my God. The gun, <laughs> yeah, the gun went off and I was like, oh crap, my pants. <laughs> so, I had, <laughs> so I had to pull up my pants and start running again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I, you definitely told me about this. It was would have been quite a, quite a sight. Did, did you get them back up again? Oh yeah, I have, to, I have to start from the beginning. And the bigger question is, did you win the race? Oh yeah, I came in, I came in first. Woo! <laughs> yes, I came in first. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. And we have, so you did, you were good at the track and stuff. And what else? I, I thought you did a, quite a bit of bowling and what kind of sports were you seeing? Well, we, yeah, uh, my school did bowling. Oh. We did bowling every week, and get, we never, I never did golfing till the summer. That's when I started, <laughs> yeah, the summer. You were my one to one. And what? Yeah. yeah. We, did, we did golfing together. What? It was your one to one, but I took no mercy. Yes, hi. <laughs> <laughs> you kicked my butt. You kicked my butt. Well, you know, you know, talent, talent. <laughs> you got that right. So, always the when what was that summer the, the canoe story you want to tell the canoe story okay uh, yes um i stood up i got something i got something so i went to bend over and it, the, i kicked the canoe and i fell in with my clothes on <laughs> so he fell like and it was in what, what was it professor's lake yes professor's lake god like it's such a filthy lake too <laughs> i still got crap out of you Oh, I, God. I, scared, was... I scared the crap out of you. It was scary in the moment, but a lot funnier now. Yes, yes, yes. Well, we don't want you drowning at all. <laughs> I go, I go. So we have another question here. What was the birthday gift you ever received? Well, um... I'm not too big on birthday presents right now. Well, back in the day, I got. Back from when you're a child, it could be any time. I think it was a Nintendo. Never, oh, like the old... make... yes, the old Nintendo. Yes, 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 yes. With with Duck Hunt, did you have Duck Hunt? Yep, 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 yep. I had every, I had, I had everything. For our younger viewers at home, you're missing out. The duck hunt was amazing. And no, the graphics weren't crap. They were amazing. Can I say that? I don't know if I'm supposed to say that on your don't show. Worry. So. Don't worry, but no worries. Keep your, keep your children at home when you come to watch our show. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But yes, I had the same Nintendo as well, but I got one very late though. Like, yeah. yeah. There was already 
the Nintendo 3 or Sega and all this kind of stuff out. And yeah, we, we were very behind technology. Yes, yes, yes. So we have another question here. Up next is, let's see. Oh, this is a bit more of a serious one. Okay, what, go ahead. What is your talent or quality that you have that you're most proud of? Ah, uh, well, besides helping people shopping or doing whatever, I have a crafty, I do some crafts, so I made you, so this is what you're going to be getting when you get here. Oh, so, oh, up for the viewers and tell the viewers what you've done, because this was amazing. Yes, so I made my best friend Tiffany go a bracelet, which she's going to get when she gets here. So this is one of my talents, because she's a very special friend of mine. So this is one of my talents. So. It one more time. I was so touched. Not only did he do that for me, uh, he did a whole DJ set of my favorite music, included BTS, which if you guys don't know, I absolutely love BTS and so many different renditions and styles of music all together for the perfect. And I, I listened to it on my birthday. It was absolutely amazing. It was a very, very special gift. And to top it all off, the friendship bracelet that is so beautiful. I can't wait to get it. Can't wait to show all, all my friends. Hold it yeah. up one more. Hold Go on. Off. Hold on. There it is. Those colors, my favorite colors. And it's just beautiful. He's so talented. So that is a good talent. Yes, hi. What and what about for the mo the biggest quality? Because I could nominate a quality in you. I would say I would say that you're a very great friend, and yeah, you're a very, very loyal and caring friend who's always there for their friends and and always thoughtful and positive and supportive. Yes. Would you say? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. For sure. For sure. For sure. Yes, definitely. I'm sure everyone that knows you would say the exact same thing. You got that right. <laughs> so let's see what other kind of questions we got here. Okay, another one, just getting to know you a little more about your passions is about music. So music is such a big part of your life. Why don't you tell them a little bit about, yeah, what it means to you uh, and how you got involved with it? Back in grade, I should say seven or maybe eight, I got into uh, music lessons, like piano and all that. So I've been a music man since then. So I like dancing, I got, I got dancing and DJing. I used to DJ the school dances in grade seven every year. So ever since then, I've been a music machine. That's true. That is true. And you've developed your craft so well. So I didn't even know that actually, that it started off by you playing keyboard or piano. Yeah. Okay. Were you ever a singer? Uh, no, but they had me do, okay, they, they had me sing the national anthem at the school once. Okay. So you can't be that bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, they got the big, I got the biggest ovation ever. So. Oh my gosh. I Gonna do it then. We should be doing a duet, you singing. If we're both singers, yeah, hi. <laughs> That's cool with me. Uh, so yeah, so it started with piano, and then and then what happened? Then then, how did you get involved? Who introduced you to DJing? How did you get involved with that? Uh, I guess I, I went to another school called Parkle in Brampton. Oh yeah. And uh, they pick who wants to be DJ. So they asked one day they asked me to be a DJ for going to dances at the school. So I've been a DJ. So I can take one of the dances. Okay, and then that's when you fell in love with it. And is do you um, do you still play piano, or now it's all kind of brought all your musical talent together to focus on DJing? I focus more on DJing mostly. Yeah. Yeah. And for all the, the people who are new to your channel that are tuning in right now, what um what kind of style would you say best describes your DJ? I play a lot of Caribbean style. 
Yeah, Caribbean. Caribbean influence for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have any uh, favorite artists or do you like to kind of, would you say you go for more older traditional Caribbean style artists or do you like modern? I go, I go from Bob Marley to reggae stuff to modern. Okay. Also. Yeah. I got the modern idea from one of my DJ friends that I've interviewed in the past also. Okay. His name is, and his name is um, Brother, Brother G. I, was, oh, you, I met sorry. him. I met this guy personally. He's a friend of mine. He's a DJ. Yes. I interviewed him recent uh, last year. So um, he also got me into all the music stuff too. And he is he all is he also in Caribbean music? Oh yeah, he's he's from Jamaica too. So he's all into the Caribbean style too. Oh so. yeah, I he, bet. He DJs. He DJs weddings and everything. So if you ever have a if you ever have a wedding or anything, you just let me know and I can ask him to DJ your wedding. <laughs> oh well, thank you. And for all your fans at home as well, get in touch with Johnny if you need a Caribbean DJ for your party. Yes, yes, yes. Or if you're over, fly him over, fly him over to England, fly him over to Europe, wherever you are. He'll travel. He'll do it for the right he, price. Oh yes, he does anything. No, I meant you to do it. Yeah, hi. That's how I told him the last time I interviewed him live on my channel. I said, hey, you need a DJ? You know where to find me. Exactly. you got to market yourself. Put that hustle on, right? Yes, yes, yes. How's my lighting? Let's see. There we go. And the uh, the bigger question. So since you you consider yourself a bit of a music connoisseur, would you say? Yes. Here's the question. What did you think about BTS then? You got me hooked into it, okay? You got me you got me hooked. <laughs> yes. You got me That's hooked. Yes, song. I'm gonna look for one now. It is so good. I'm so glad you like it. And if you watch the YouTube videos, they're dancing. I still do. I still watch the YouTube videos. The dancing's crazy. Check out on um O N, like on the dancing for that one. Yes. So good. Very, very, very good one. If you haven't heard that one yet, definitely check it out. Um, but back, back to you, because BTS is about me. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh so when it comes to just going back to a little bit about the DJing, did anyone teach you how to do it or how did you learn to like know which songs to put next, um, or how to like keep the audience engaged and to throw a really good party? Cause you throw amazing, amazing parties. I had two, I had two DJs. One I still keep in touch with the phone. The other one I lost contact with, but um, both those guys got me into that kind of thing. Yeah. So there's one I still keep in touch with over the phone. He called me his Wait, first. He oh, called. Sorry, sorry, there's a bit of a lag between the internet, so I don't mean to speak over you. I think it's sometimes our voices are coming in the same time. Uh, was that during COVID or before COVID? How many years have you been? When did this all start? This is way before COVID 19. Okay. It goes way back. It goes way back. Okay, so your experience, experienced DJ in the house for anyone looking to hire. Hi. Party. I even told some of my listeners when I start back my regular all new episodes. If any anniversary parties or whatever, and I want to um, celebrate the anniversary, I can play some music on my end and just get in contact with me on YouTube. I can see what I can, what I can pull up. Yes, yeah, so requests, and hopefully uh, Johnny will be getting some fresh equipment this year, some uh, new computers, some new software. So stay tuned for the all new look to the channel that will be yeah. coming. Up. You got my, you got my list there. So yeah, hi. I do have your list. Yes, I do. Yes, yes, yes. Um. So now for oh, this is a another bit of a, another tough one. Since it's your birthday, and when you blow out those candles, everyone has. Uh, something they usually wish for. So the question is, if you had one wish, what would it be? You already have to ask that one, huh? <laughs> oh. Well, I wish I could spend it with you. Oh, Johnny, no, wait, I, the way hearts go. That's how people do the hearts, I think now. No, wait, 
I think it's like that. Yeah, hi. I <laughs> finally got supposed to be a heart. Uh, just so you know, uh, this is going to end in, I got an update saying this is going to end in 10 minutes. Okay, no problem. We are definitely going to wrap it up then. But Johnny, that is so sweet. I wish I could be there to celebrate your birthday with you also. But I will be home this Christmas and we look out for what I'm sure we'll do some sort of Christmas special. We have to. Uh-huh. Uh, definitely. So, with, but w until then, thank you. That is such a beautiful wish. And uh, we would be having the best time dancing around, having the best birthday ever. And we'll have a post-birthday to celebrate both our birthdays. How about that? You got it, babe. <laughs> so the final question we have since we have to wrap this up today is what does the next year have in store for Johnny Watts? Don't what know it. Don't know it. Goals don't. For the year? Well, I have a lot of, uh, what do you call it, a lot of interviews coming up in the new year. So uh, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. So just growing your business. Is there anything else you want uh, to to have your viewers know about your business? I can say this. I hope you enjoy the music and the interviews and what I do. I'll be doing a lot of comedy stuff, like showing some old comedy shows on my channel. So stay tuned for that. Oh, that sounds really cool. I'm excited about that. Yes. That hi. So you heard it here first, stay tuned for the comedy shows and then stay for the DJing and the music. And if you like sports, he also does commentary on the sports, usually for footballs. I mean, for hockey season, right? That's and right. That's, that's starting October 11th. October 11th. There you go. If you like sports, tune in to watch his sports updates. And for now, we are wrapping it up. But all I just want to say is you, me, everyone, Johnny, it's been my honor interviewing you today. Yes. I hope you had fun and you enjoyed our our questions and I hope the audience now ha gets to, has gotten a chance to know you a little bit better and thank you enjoyed our is there anything else you want to leave off with I just want to thank you for uh, interviewing me it is again my honor and from us to you we wish you mwah, the mwah. biggest happy birthday ever wait let me get one more oh my god my floor ready Woo. Yeah, hi. <laughs> All right, girl. Yeah. Bye. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Okay, bye. Bye. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> bye. Oh, boy. More calls coming in. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs>